Yeah, there, there's been uh, apparently a tense interaction in the Capitol hallways with Congressman Tim Burchett, who is one of the eight Republicans who voted out Kevin McCarthy from the speakership and apparently had a bit of a dust up in the hallways himself with Kevin McCarthy. And I have Congressman Burchett with us here right now. So, Congressman, explain to us what happened with you and Kevin McCarthy. Well, I was doing an interview um, with um, Claudia from NPR, uh, a lovely lady, and when she was asking me a question, and, and at that time I uh, got elbowed in the back, and it kind of caught me off guard because it was a clean shot to the kidneys, and I turned back, and there was there was Kevin, and um, and I, I, for a minute I was kind of what the heck just happened, and then I, um, you know, I, I chased after him. Of course, he's a as I've stated many times, he's a he's a bully with 17 million dollars in a security. You know, he's the type of guy that, when you're a kid, would throw a rock over the fence and run home and hide behind his mama's skirt. And he just, you know, he, he, uh, from behind, that kind of stuff. It, you know, that's not the way we handle things in East Tennessee. We, we if we have a problem with somebody, I'm going to look him in the eye and, and talk to him. Okay, so he walked down the hallway, hit you in his el- with his elbow. Yeah, you, you then- can you can go on Claudia's Twitter account. It, it, it pretty much. Um, X account. It, right. it, it's, it's very accurate. But, okay, so then just explain. So you chased him? What, what do you mean you chased well, him? I just ran after him. I was like, what the heck? You know, why'd you do that? You know, because it was, uh, like I said, it, if you've ever been hit in the kidneys, it's a little little different. You don't have to hit very hard to cause a little bit of pain, a lot of pain. And, and so I, and he just, of course, um, as he always did, does, he just uh, denies it or uh, uh, blames somebody else or something, you know, and it was just a little heated, but I just backed off because there wasn't any, I saw no reason. I wasn't gaining anything from it. Wait, and then so everybody saw it, so it didn't really matter. Wait, he responded to you? Yeah, yeah, he just acted like, you know, what are you talking about? You know, who are you? To, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just, you know, I think that's that's symptomatic of the problems that he, he's had in his short tenure as speaker. And were you face-to-face when you had this interaction? Yeah, yeah but there's security detail, and I get it. They had they were doing their job, so it wasn't exactly like he didn't he wouldn't turn around and face me. He, he kept scurrying, trying to keep people between me and him. And then, so and did, where did he, where he yell? Were you? It, I just let it go at that point. It wasn't. Were you yelling? Uh, he, he was. Yeah, I raised my voice to him. I thought it was appropriate. You know, you just don't expect a guy who was at one time three steps away from the White House to sucker. So he hit you with a sucker punch in the, in the in the hallway. And did he raise his voice back to you? Yeah, just that high pitched kind of thing, I, I believe, and that was about it. And did he walk into his office? How did this end? No, he just kept on walking down the hall. I don't know where his office is now. Mm-hmm. And um, and you know he had the, his detail and his posse, so to speak, was with him. So did his detail try to stop you? Do what? Did his detail try well, to the stop? The detail kind of got they, they one guy got got between us there towards the end, but it, it, I wasn't I wasn't looking to knock him out or anything. I just wanted to let him know I, 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 I know it was him. Were you injured? I don't, I don't know injured, man. I, it, I mean, did it hurt? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, it still hurts because it was a shot to the kidneys. And it, it still hurts, oddly enough. It's not, not anything I'm going to, I'm not going to, probably not going to do an ethics complaint on him. He's not worth it. You know, he's he's going to be gone here either after Christmas or next year. And like I said, you know, he's got the $17 million and he's going to keep you know, he'll be, he's already messing in everybody's races, and we all know that. Are you accusing him of assault? Am I accusing him? Of assault? I don't know. I ask a lawyer. It, it's over as far as I'm concerned. He said to our colleague, Melina Zanona, that this was a tight hallway. He denies this interaction. He says a tight hallway, and I bumped into him. He says that this is not an intentional thing. There's 435 congressmen. I was one of the eight that voted against him. That hallway was, uh, there's plenty of room. You can walk four, four side by side. He chose to do what he did. And, you know, it, it, it'll end right here, I'm sure. It'll just be a little little uh, asterisk on his storied career. And he said, he told me last week, you are only concerned about press and policy. That's why you voted him out. You're just concerned about the press. Yeah, and that's why he held a exclusive press conference with CNN. What do you mean? I mean, he doesn't think that you did it for any real reason other than to bolster your own profile. I've gone through all the reasons. Uh, he just doesn't. He doesn't keep his word, and I think that's this is pretty much. Um, it shows what he did. It just shows what he did, and it just it's just the way it is with him. He's not. You know, he could have gone out on top, and he's chosen to go this route. And I and I actually I feel sorry for him. I pray for him every day. You might not believe that, 
but I do. I pray for him, and I um, I hope he finds some, some happiness in his life. Yeah. All right, I'll let you know. I just want to talk to you as well. Thanks, Thanks, for, you. Thanks for your time.